morning, good morning. Okay, so today's gonna be a little bit different. We are going to put April 1st and April the 2nd all on today's. So your mom and dad have your outline with them. And so if you look on their outline, it's on, um, for both, both days are together. So we're gonna do that today. Okay, it's April. So I can't even April fools you, but maybe you can secretly April fool somebody at your house okay and then you can tell me all about it when we do our zoom meeting together okay um, let's go ahead and pull out your papers remember it's gonna be Thursdays and Fridays all together so you have three handwritings um, and two phonics papers so go ahead and pull those out and then I'm gonna start reviewing the phonics papers together so we're gonna do the one that looks like this with the bunny rabbit at the top so we're gonna do that one first so go ahead and pull out that paper first and look at number one it says to mark the vowels they did the first one for you it has a capital letter which means it's someone's probably someone's name right um or it's an important place so they marked it for you there are no special sounds in any of these it just says to mark the vowel so don't worry about special sounds on the top part on the bottom part are the special sounds so look at number two it says to fill in the circle next to the special sound that completes the word. So point to the pictures as I say them for you so that you will know which special sound to fill in. Are you ready? Okay, let's look at the first one. Stove, st, stove. Tur, trash. Pull, plate. Bath, bath. Nest, nest. And the last one, tur train so all you have to do is fill in the circle i mean fill in the circle next to the special sound that completes the word and goes with the picture so go ahead and turn this one over on the back and we're going to see what's on the back of this one before we go on to the one that has the turtle on it so look at the back on number three hey i'm getting better at this right yeah <clears throat> Okay, let's look at number three right here with the sun and the fish. So it says to look at the pictures and fill in the circle under the word that completes each sentence. Color the picture. Am I worried about your coloring? Nope, I'm not worried about your coloring. But I want to make sure that you are getting that reading in and filling in the circle correctly. Because remember that filling in those circles are part of the practice for that big test that we're going to take. So practice filling in those circles very carefully so that when we take that big test, you know exactly how to fill in one of those circles. Some people call them the bubble, right? So take your time and fill, it in, fill them in nice and neat. So I'm not going to read those sentences to you though. This is something that you should be able to read by yourself. Remember to look at special sounds if you need to. Circle special sounds first, mark the vowels, and then read the words and then pick the word that makes the most sense. We don't want any kind of nonsense sentences, right? No nonsense words in there. So pick the one that makes the most sense. Okay, go ahead and pull out your next paper. I'm gonna go over the directions with you on that one and then you can pause the video and do them both or you can keep watching and do everything together just like we would do for seat work, okay? So let's go ahead and look at your next one. Your next one is the one with the turtle on it. So go ahead and pull out the one with the turtle. It's this really cute little turtle right here. So this one is um, a little bit different. On number one, it says mark the vowels and then match. So there are no special sounds on this part either. They did the very first word for you to show you how to do this. So on this one, they marked the long A, silent E, and then they said cake and look, it matches to the long A. So we're talking about the vowels that we hear. We don't have pictures right there. So we're talking about the vowels that we hear. So let's look at your next one. You're gonna mark all of those. You have a long, um, you have a short I, a long A, a long, a short A, a long E, and a short E. So these are long uh, vowels and short vowels. So you're just going to match the word to the vowel that's in that word. Now let's look on the next part right here. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're gonna mat, you're gonna mark those vowels first, and then you're going to match them, which means draw those lines 
to the vowel, the correct vowel that is in that word, either a long vowel or a short vowel. Okay, let's look at number two. Number two is the part, one of the, my favorite parts. Um, if you remember in all of our papers, I tell you that I cannot wait to see the pictures that you draw. So this is what it tells you. It says to draw a picture for each sentence. Okay, so if you look right here, you have a sentence here, then you're gonna draw a picture in there. And then you have a sentence here, and you're gonna draw a picture in there. So remember, mark your special sounds and your vowels if you don't know the word. If you don't need to do that, don't do that, okay? Um, but if you still need to do that, it's okay. And then when you're done, draw your picture. I'm not an artist either. Just do your very best work, okay? Okay, go ahead and turn that one over to the back and let's see what is on the back of that paper. Okay, at the top on number three, it says to circle the special sounds. Is it telling you anything about vowels? Nope, it just says to circle your special sounds. So don't worry about those vowels. If you wanna mark them, mark them but you don't have to. That's not what the directions tell you to do. And then on number four, it says to match the words that rhyme. So you see that cute little bunny rabbit that is swinging? You might have seen him on some of our math papers before on our story problems. You have to match the ones that rhyme. Some of you need rhyming practice. So this is really good practice for all of us, but remember that rhyming words have the same ending sound. We're not worried about the beginning, but we're um, you need to listen to the ending sound. So if you need to, underline that ending sound. They did the first one for you, pan and fan. They both have the an at the end. So if you need to underline them, underline them. It's okay, this is practice. If you don't need to and you can read them without doing that and you know which ones rhyme, good job, okay? Okay, so all you have to do is, is match the rhyming words on there. And number five at the very bottom, where the sentences are, it says to write the word that completes the sentence. Again, it's writing lines, so no matching on this. I need you to practice writing those words. Um, they give you two words, two sentences, so they're, they're not trying to trick you on this. Okay, when you're finished with that one, go ahead and pull out your handwriting, or if you wanna keep going, let's look at that. Let's look at your handwriting today. You have two papers on your handwriting today, and I'm gonna scoot it over just a little bit so that you can see these, okay? On the top one right here, you're practicing your capital V and your little v. On number two, it says, Jim rode in the van. And you're going to write that on house three. House four says, the van is dark blue, period. So don't forget, if you're coloring these, that they told you what color to color that van. It's dark blue. And then you're gonna write that sentence on house five. Don't forget those punctuation marks because if they're not there, it's not finished. Let's turn it over to the back and see what you have on the back. Okay, on the back of the first handwriting paper, you have two little girls playing outside, which is uh, what I hope that you have been doing too. Number one says, Meg likes to jump rope, period. So this is Meg right here. And then you're going to write that on house two. House three says, Sue likes to play jacks. So this is Sue, this is jacks. This is that game that we talked about when we were learning, well, when we were reviewing our alphabet and we did the I Spy and I had a jack in there for the letter J, that's that game. So if you still don't know how to play that game, maybe mom or dad can show you, or maybe you can pull it up on the computer to see how to play it, okay? Because it's actually a pretty fun game. So you're going to trace that sentence and then you're going to write it on house four. Let's go ahead and look at your last handwriting paper that is, um, for your letters. Okay, remember this is Thursday's and Friday's work. You don't have to do all of this work in one day. You can separate this work out, but we're, we're combining Thursday and Friday's movies or videos together because we still have to do Bible and we still have to do a reading group movie, okay, a, a video. So on this one right here, it's um, practicing your capital M and little, K, little M, lowercase m. House two says Mike 
has a mule. So here's Mike, here's his mule. That mule does not look happy, does it? It says on house four, can Mike make him go? And if you notice, my voice changed a little bit because it's a question. So that's a good practice for those question marks. So um, when you're reading that, remember that your voice changes a little bit at the end and that's a question mark. So practice that question mark for me. And remember if it's not there, it's not a sentence. Go ahead and turn it over to the back. Let's see what you need to be doing on the back of that. Okay, on number one, it says the bus cannot wait. Looky there, that bus is taken off and it cannot wait for him anymore. So you're gonna trace that sentence, write it on house two. House three says Greg must run fast. So here's Greg trying to catch up with the bus. And um, there's only one boy left there, so Greg better hurry. And then you're going to trace that, write it on house four. Now the last paper for the day looks like this right here. So this is your number writing paper. This is exactly what we did yesterday. It is practicing writing by twos from 50 to 100. So um, yesterday I told you you didn't have to do the back as long as you did it nice and neat uh, or unless mom and dad told you to, then you needed to do it with a happy heart. So the same thing for this one. Practice that front because not only are you practicing writing those numbers, but you're practicing counting by twos. So um, go ahead and do that front part. And then if you need extra practice, turn it over on the back and do the back. If you don't need that extra practice, that's okay. Um, but I do want you to, to write that front part again. Even though you did it yesterday, we need to practice it one more time, okay? Uh, also, don't forget Dolchless 10. Don't forget practicing those special sounds, practicing the addition, the subtraction, the money. Don't, be, uh, don't forget to be practicing your Bible verses. You're going to be practicing, you should be practicing your X this week. So don't forget to practice that. We're going to keep practicing Psalm um, 23 longer because some of us don't have that down yet. So we're going to be practicing X for this week and next week. And then we're going to practice Psalm 23 for a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. So if you need anything, don't forget, you can message me, call me, FaceTime me, Facebook me. I have lots of ways that you can get a hold of me. And don't forget that uh, we're going to have our Zoom meetings on every Friday. So if you can, log in to that. And we're going to keep practicing so that we're not all talking at one time. I might even have to mute your microphones <laughs> until we can practice that a little bit more. But we're going to, we're going to play around with it. And we're going to see what works best for us. Okay, no rules for that part. So if you have any questions, give me a call. I'm going to tell mom and dad how to do your graded papers for the week. Remember to do your very best work and I will hopefully see you very soon on Zoom. I love you, have a fantastic weekend and uh, don't forget to say those prayers, okay? Love you.